Okay, we'll go back to the code. Here, instead of saying uh, once we've transmitted hello world, we'll set that to one and we'll go back into MCU init and we'll create a handler for Rx. In the MC unit file it's important to put these prototypes up here so that if you change anything with the device initialization tool that they don't get lost. Uh, so now we're going to do a bit of uh, receiving. Uh, what I also really need to do, I'm just going to copy this. Uh, when you're receiving, uh, to clear flags you need to read the uh, status register and then uh, read the data register for all the flags to be cleared. Uh, and that also goes for the error flags, so um, I won't create a handler, I'll just uh, and I won't actually handle any of the errors if any errors occur. I'm just going to put that in there. Now if errors do occur, uh, those bytes will just get lost within this uh, interrupt vector. And by errors we're talking about noise, parity error, and framing error. Uh, there's no parity though. Uh, and overrun error. Uh, here in this interrupt handler I'm going to say if you see text start flag equals one, then we're just going to send out uh, the character that we received. And uh, now that we've got two instances where we're sending different things in the transmit interrupt handler, we'll change that to And in fact, I should be using the switch case here. And you know what? I will use uh, the switch. We're only sending one byte, so we're just going to change that to zero. the flag and down here we're going to have to enable it to send our byte and just as a default disable the interrupt that should be two down here that should be two. That should be two 
That should be one. And when it's zero, that it shouldn't go there. That's better. And so it's prompted us with a hello world. And I'm just typing one, two, three, four, five, and it's just uh, sending back out the uh, characters uh, that I'm sending in. And just to prove that that's not just uh, echoing locally typed characters, we'll do a plus one. So that if I type in one, the number two will come out. If I type two, the number three will come out. If I type A, the letter B will come out. <coughs> uh, so I'm typing one, and I got two. I type two, I get three. Type four, I get five. Okay, so that's transmit and receive on a QG8. Thanks for watching.